Hey. hey. It's the competition. The competition is on for only a couple more weeks, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. You got to go to badfriendsmerch.com. We're competing to see who can sell more shirts. And the loser, the loser has to do what, Robert? The loser has to massage the other guy. Butt naked. Butt naked. On camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone's going to see it across the universe. Every, so gonna... this is my little uh, beautiful I'm Bobby Mom shirt. And he's got his beautiful little cartoon. Can Show I them say something about his. Though? It's a great shirt. Yeah. It's a catchphrase. Yeah, it's, it's like great. glorious. Yeah, right. It's great. But you can find that on Etsy. No, 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 no. But my, my no. point is, is that no. this one right here, this Miyazaki one, man, it's so original. It's cute. You can wear it out. Yeah, you can wear it out. Okay, yeah, yeah, but yeah, this yeah. one you could wear in. So wear this <laughs> inside. Go to badfriendsmerch.com. Badfriendsmerch.com for this only. Two more weeks left of this competition. Once the year, once competition's over, we don't sell the shirts anymore. No more. That's it. And also, this weekend we're in Salt Lake City, uh, then Temecula, Reno, Sacramento, Long Beach, Windsor, Niagara Falls, Tucson. Then we finish in Vegas. Uh, April 20th. April 20th in Vegas. We end the tour. So uh, that's it for a while. We're not going to tour again until 2025 or something. Go to badfriendspod.com for those tickets. Badfriendspod.com. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? White dude and an Asian dude. You two are something. We're bad friends. Hey, ladies. You say you've done this before, right? Yeah, she yeah. did it one time. Where? Hi. Hi. Good Where? to see you when again. When did she do it? Huh? When did she do it? I forgot. Last, she did, she did last it, year. Last year. At the end of last year, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let me see if I won the millionaire jackpot. And this was given to Bobby because Carlos hit Bobby's mom in the face. Mm -hmm. Pretty hard. Yeah. 10 top prizes of a million dollars. Any of your numbers match the winning numbers. Okay, so the winning numbers are 15, 2, 28, 36, and 4. Now, if I win, is it just me and you, or do we going to give some to the girls? Give some. Yeah, yeah. obviously. Not with that attitude. <laughs> yeah, oh, after that you attitude. Give... You know what? Um, you d dictate. We'll deport them. Deport. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. If I don't yeah, win, you get deported. We're deporting them. So if I don't win even a little bit, even like a dollar, you guys are both going... Back to the jungle, baby. You know where you were? What, what, You're in the Philippines, what, 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 baby. Yeah, yeah, what's and you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 436, 28, 15, and 2. Let's go. So, no, 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 Get out. Get out. I don't want to go back. Too bad. Too bad. Not my problem. Dude, the lotto dictated all that. 36, man, I was two off, but twice really tough to win these things. I don't ever get these things. My whole family loves playing the lottery, and it's the saddest shit. But the big lottery right now, I just saw on the news, What's the Powerball up to right now? 88 million. <gasps> oh. Wow, shouldn't we get it? I'll buy the ball. You buy the Powerball? <laughs> I would buy that gigantic red ball. Wow, that would be amazing. How much is that? What's it? Is that ball, what is it made of? The Powerball itself? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Money. I feel like there's liquid in it. What's in there? It's like boba. Boba. The Power Boba Ball. But also just a unicorn cum. Is inside there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's where it's been the whole time. Is unicorn come good? No, <laughs> I don't think so. Right? Not as, yeah, no. It's, it's probably rainbow good. color. It's too because unicorns are so physically active. Right. Right. It's got to be. It's just. I feel like it would taste good. Like what? They make Starbucks drinks out of that. Out of unicorn. A cum. Unicorn cum. Yeah, the unicorn cum. <laughs> I have a venti unicorn uh, unicorn cum half sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I didn't know. Is that like a side menu, special menu? If I no, it's that's in the Philippines. Menu. Oh, in the Philippines they have it. Oh, you have unicorn cum and pog pog. <laughs> pog pog. Oh, he wants me to go pog pogging. Where you go? You know sifting, what pog pog is? Sifting through the pog trash. Pog. What's pog pog? pog Where you go pog sifting is... through the trash? Yeah, yeah. What's pog pog? Pog pog is two unicorns. <laughs> no, fucking no, no, no. That's not pog pog. <laughs> <laughs> It does make that sound. It does make that sound. You're pug, right. Pug, you're right. Pug, 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 pug. But isn't there a dish in the Philippines called pog pog? Pog pog? Yeah. P A G P A G. Pog pog. Pog Dude, pog's like. He like... sent it to me. Yeah, it's, I sent it up. Look it up. It's, it's when you go dumpster diving and you make food out of dumpster diving. Oh. Dive. What's it called there? Look. Pog pog. Pog pog. The I've, never, I've never had it, but, but I know wait, what How it do you is. say it? How do you say it? Pog pog. The what, what the fuck did I just I, say? <laughs> well, let me hear you. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Pog pog. Say it again. Pug pug. No, you say it. Bug bug bug. Ah, bug bug. Yeah, they're sounding like bug bug. Oh, <laughs> bug bug. Bug bug. Okay. So what it is? Look at these photos. You dig through the trash. We'll go back to the Wikipedia, and because I think it says there's a a literal definition of it. 
it's the tag along term for leftover food from restaurants, usually from fast food restaurants, uh, scavenged oh. from garbage sites and dumpsters. And then you collect a dinner out of it. You guys have never heard of this before? Or no? I've seen the exact reel that I think you're talking about. Wow, that's just insane. Oh, so you've never seen people eat it? No. Oh. Because I thought that you ate that and did a shot of unicorn cum. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a tradition somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's Tagalong. You guys speak the other one, Tagalog, right? What is no. it? No. Which one do you speak? Visaya. Okay, fucking shut up. <laughs> How many are there? That, la that island is the size of like There's Los Angeles. There's a lot of dialects. How big is the Philippines? It's not that big. It's not that big. It's small. There's just a lot of islands. There's just so many people, though. It's too many. Not too many. No, I right. think so. It's a good amount. Home to 120 and 180, between 120 and 187 languages. That is fucking That's absurd. That's too many. In America, we have one. Three. Spanish. Oh, yeah, Spanish. Spanish, okay. baby. Yeah, Spanish. Is there a better language? No. Than Spanish, no. It's the most globally spoken language, right? Is it really? I thought no. English dominated. Chinese. No, Chinese. Mandarin. Chinese. Well, chi wait. It's Mandarin. You know what? Chinese Isa, is since Mandarin. You've been, <laughs> since you've been no. here, you've been very fucking like. You know what? Like, <laughs> since you've been gone. Yeah. I can't, I can't breathe for the first time. <laughs> They're killing it. You gotta let them go. So good. So, um, you have to introduce for the people that don't. All right, don't... so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello. Welcome to another episode of Pop Tiger Valley. I mean, Pop Bad Friends. <laughs> Bad friends. I mean, because I see them all the time. <laughs> don't get so, don't get so angry. But anyway, ladies, and, let me start over. Ladies and bing, 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 bing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Bad Friends, the greatest podcast on earth, with the greatest host, Andrew Santino. What a handsome young man, leading actor, big star. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. I love this podcast. Anyway, we've got two. <laughs> We got two beautiful. We got, you know, a regular here. She's a part of the family. We've got fucking Jules here. But then her sister from the Philippines is here for a couple of weeks. She, you're leaving tomorrow. I am. Yeah. But um, it was really good to see you. And so give her, a Issa, give her a what's your What's your Instagram tag? Because I know you like followers. <laughs> Cause you always um, want me to like, you always want, like, should I tag you on this? No, cause Or you want to repost it? No, every time we take a fucking no, photo. She, she wants no, she, to be I know, she wants to be famous. So every time we take a photo, you're always like, uh, you want to collaborate or you want to, no, and I'm always like, no, fuck no, you. No, so no. My, my point is, throw your Instagram out. Okay, it's is a Vera, but with a double Z uh -huh. and an R. Okay. Double R. You heard it here first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. How old are you now? I'm 15. Don't show her Instagram to anybody. <laughs> what are we talking about? She's a kid. Yeah, but they can still oh, yeah. followers. Oh, so, yeah. It was so weird. And when, like, the people like, about from here found me, yeah. they started, like, bombarding my DMs with, like, the weirdest thing. Gross. This is disgusting. Wow. This is our family here on this show. You can only uh, DM or even follow her, click to follow her. Is it private? Uh, yeah. Good. And you can only even try if you're under 17. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Under seven. He has a boyfriend now, though. It does. I'm just saying, in general, even if like, what a, does that have anything to do with anything? Right? I now? know. You do have a boyfriend. I do. How old is he? He's 16. I thought for a second I thought she said 60, and I was like, Oh my, <laughs> oh my god! Welcome my god. to America. <laughs> He's 16. Mm -hmm. You're 15. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He can drive. No. They don't have cars there. What? Oh, you just do, oh, like the, <laughs> is it like the Flintstones right. with their feet? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait a minute, you. But he can. Oh, it's in the Philippines. That's right. Mm -hmm. I forgot. There, do you get licenses there at sixteen or no? No, you only can only 18. get the yeah the students permit is at seventeen. Oh. And then eighteen is the legal driving mm -hmm. age. Yeah. But no one really drives. No, there's a there's a lot. I mean, you could afford. Your dad's a lawyer. I like his car. I don't want his car. What does yeah, he yeah. have? Oh, he just has an Elantra, but he like tweaked it, so it's like it's a tricked out Elantra. <laughs> Yeah. We Wait, are, hey, so hey, Andrew, I want to tell you something. Can I tell you something? Yeah. We are the best country in the world. We are. We really, a lawyer drives an Elantra? I know. Tough times over there. That is, a Mitsubishi Elantra is top tier? Yeah. But they have running water. That's good. <laughs> that, is that your cousin's name, running water? No, but they, they, they at one point, they didn't have running water, remember? No way. Yeah, we did. No, they yeah. did. No, they didn't. No, but your dad has a tricked out Elantra and you love it? Yeah. Is he going to give it to you? I hope so. Me too. Mm -hmm. We'll at, we'll tell we can ask him. Yeah. Let's ask him. I and then you have two little would. two little brothers. Yeah, they want it too. They I want have the competition. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, but you're the old. You're the oldest. Yeah. So you get it. How, are they still crazy or no? Every time I see them, they're just running around in circles. Oh, the youngest still... is crazy. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I just yeah. want to like punch him all day. You don't yeah, like yeah. him? How old is he? 
Ten. Ten. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's a child. <laughs> but he, he's just so. But wonderful. they grow up faster there. No, they don't. Yeah, they have. He has a mustache like fucking Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> <laughs> they all have. They're born with mustaches <laughs> yeah, yeah. in the Philippines. What were you gonna ask me? What? Oh no, I was gonna tell you that my mom has like the biggest crush on you. Also, Woo! why is there a dick pic on your house? Of what? What are you doing? What's up? <laughs> of what? Of like dicks. There's like a big dick and like small, <laughs> small dicks like around <laughs> it. Polaroids? What are you doing? It's you hard. have dick pics at your house no on the wall? I literally have no idea. Whose doing. dicks are they? I literally have no idea. Whose dicks do you have on your I wall? I have no idea. Whose dicks are on your wall at your house? First of all, I'll back leave up. here right now and back go to your up. house and see. Back up right now, dude. No, because you don't do this to I don't me. like being challenged. You disrespected me, first of all, and called this fucking uh, bi uh, uh, belly tiger bullshit, whatever the fuck that. <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm going to go to your house. If there's other dicks on that wall that aren't mine, we're in a fucking fight. It's your dick, dude. No, it's not. I know. Is it orange? It's kind of orange. Yeah, it was your dick. Oh, all right. Then yeah, we're yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, can I explain the dick pic or no? Please. Okay. We're all waiting. <laughs> so you know the Wednesday meeting I go to? Yeah. Right? So I go to this Wednesday. That's what you guys do at AA. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not what we do. So there's this guy named, I can't say his name. because Of course it's not. It's but, AA. But anyway, there's this guy who's a newcomer, and, and one day he goes... Hey, let's do a Christmas, like an elephant, whatever, Christmas elephant thing, right? A white elephant? Yeah, whatever, wherever, you you draw a name out of the fucking thing. Yeah. So he, I get him for some reason, right? And I brought, I forgot about it, so I brought cash. So I gave I gave a friend of my $100, and then this other guy gives me a beanie. Inside the beanie was that fucking Polaroid of a dick pic. Of his dick? I don't know whose dick it is. But when I opened it up and I did it, I go, oh, fuck. I don't know. So I just put it on the ledge. You kept it. But why is there like one big dick and then like small dicks around it? Wait, wait. In you one really, photo? You really are yeah. in Hollywood. Yeah, in one photo. Yeah. Did I take it? I don't know. Dude, this is what Cat Williams was talking about. <laughs> what? You're in Hollywood, dude. You're getting dick, weird dick pic Polaroid proposals. You are fucking Hollywood. No. Who's dude. more Hollywood now, Bad Friends fans? No, the no. guy that has dick pics no, on his no, wall? No, no. So that's wow, that is, dude. But, you know, I'm not ashamed. You're evil. You're in the. I'm system. not evil. I'm not ashamed. Who did you I... have? Who did you have to suck to get that no. Fox deal? <laughs> oh, we want to give you a show. <laughs> no, no, no. So anyway, why that's did what you that... put it on your wall? Why yeah. did you just throw it's it It's not on a wall. Oh my god, you guys are fucking. Where is it? Yeah, if I was it's ashamed funny. of it, why would I? I put it with a drawer. I, why would I put you it right just there. throw it away? It's yeah. funny. <laughs> People walk up to see a gigantic dick pic. It's funny. Okay. I don't know. Would you have dick pics in your house, guys? Just laying around? Carlos, Thank I you, should Carlos. be asking Thank you. you. Carlos. Thank That's you. why you're in the program, too. Yeah. Right. You but, I mean, you know, if you're going to... First of all, do you want to clean my house again? <laughs> again? Oh, you're telling everybody the inside secrets of my I'm house? I'm just telling, like, weird stuff in your house. Yeah. You have a dick on display. Thank you. I'm not ashamed of it, but I'm also this, right? <laughs> it's so contradictory what you just said. What? You're mad about it, but then she's like, no, it's displayed. You're like, right. I'm yeah, not, yeah. I'm not, not I'm embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. I'm manning up. But my point is, is this, okay? Is just that next time you see some stuff like that. But I can't keep a secret. That's I have right. To tell it. See something, say something. Thank you, Rudy. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got to teach them right. They're doing good. Yeah. And then why is it when you clean my house? If you want to just, if you want to talk about things, then let's talk about things. Right here on the show. Talk about whatever why, you want why, on the why, show. Why is it? Why is it when you clean my house and stuff like that? Um, I see your phone. It's on. Uh oh. Right. <laughs> and you're in a different room. Okay. You're in a different room cleaning. But who's on the phone? Oh, my boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. And he's just laying there like this. Ew, what? Yeah. No. So she's cleaning another room. <laughs> like right? you're FaceTiming and he just lays there? But he's not even, she's not in, she's <laughs> downstairs. Mm. Right? Because we just like. She's yeah. downstairs, right? And I'm I'm getting a drink, you know what I mean, in the kitchen. And I look, I see her phone and I see this gigantic nose. Oh my oh. God. Oh my God, what? He doesn't have a big nose? No. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a big nose. Does he have a big nose? No. See? It's not wide. No. Okay. It's normal from where you're from. Normal. But from here, dude, yeah. it's snuffleupagus. <laughs> your, nose. <laughs> your nose is not even normal. So don't make fun oh, of what's, oh, go ahead. Oh. Call me out. What's up with my nose? Now, what is up with your nose? <laughs> Tell me about my nose. Why is it not normal? Let me see. Lift up. Yeah. It's, yeah well, I don't good. know. Good. Yeah. It's pretty. Really good. Pretty normal. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, why do you have this kid? He's your slave. <laughs> It's creepy I, that he I'm watches cleaning you. the house, but you, I'm not even in the room, but you have to stay on, you know what I mean, on the phone, FaceTime. on FaceTime. We just like to stay on call. It's 
normal for us. The fact is, he likes it. Yeah. Ugh. It's love, maybe. No, that's not love. That's weird. He it's just weird. lays there while she cleans. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like some weird fetish shit. No, because he's watching something and we're just doing different things, but staying on call. Your does your boyfriend stay on Facetime with you when you're doing yeah. something? Real? That's maybe it's just what young people do. Uh, it's what you they don't? do. You it's these women. No, Facetime my wife. Are you fucking out of your, <laughs> mind? Out of your mind. I live with her. Yeah. Oh, Facetime. Maybe? No, you don't do that. You don't do. I mean, we Facetime if I'm like across the country on the road. But your boyfriend lives in the same city. You call him. It's different. They young people do FaceTime shit. Okay. They love FaceTime. Anyway. How many I, times have you done FaceTime? What do you mean? In general. You never do FaceTime. I do it every night. To who? <laughs> to who? I've been FaceTiming somebody every night. Who have you been FaceTiming? Cleveland. Who have you been FaceTiming? You know what, dude? What's going on here today? <laughs> what is going on here today? That's why everybody wore your shirt so they could call you yeah, out yeah. for shit and make you not feel bad. Yeah, anyway, I do FaceTime. and I'm, uh... Are you FaceTiming with someone that you uh, um, enjoy yeah. right now? Yeah. How long do you stay on FaceTime with this person? Half an hour, maybe. That's pretty good. Yeah, oh. yeah. Do you remember when we were young and we'd talk on the phone to, to someone we liked for hours? No, when we were like young, young. Oh, my God. And they would sit on the phone for hours and hours and hours. You guys don't know about landlines. You know, in, when, I was, when I went on the road, my first road date was in San Antonio, and I was seeing this girl, Jennifer Field. Remember the girl that oh, yeah. had sex with me when I was 23 and I ate her yeah. fucking vagina in, in her mom's closet? Who but, could forget? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who could forget? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I remember going to, because I, I was opening for Mencia, mm -hmm. Carlos Mencia, and we're at the, um, that San Antonio mall. LOL. Not LOL. It wasn't even there yet. It oh, was the, in the mall. The other one, yeah. Right? And they had this weird, like, condo that I had to stay in. And I remember from after the show, maybe it was like I was one o'clock in the morning. Mm. I talked to her till like eight in the morning. Yeah, on a I, landline. I remember those on days. a landline. Yeah, and, and, you, and she was like, "I love you. I miss you." You know what I mean? Be falling asleep and wake up and keep talking. Yeah, I miss those days. Me too, man. Never, never gonna get that ever again. Now these kids just stay on Facetime where they clean other people's houses. Now when a girl calls me, <laughs> I treat them like a um, telemarketer. <laughs> I, like, I gotta go. I can't. Wrong number. Wrong number. I can't. <laughs> 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 Rocket money. You guys, I have Sony subscriptions. Too many, honestly. If on my do. phone and my all my iPad, all my stuff, right? And it's like I don't even. I'm losing money as we speak. Tons of. And money. what does Rocket Money do, dude? Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills. We all want to lower our bills in the new year. We're all sick of paying for stuff that we don't want to pay for anymore. You got to use Rocket Money. They have over five million users, and they've helped save their members an average of seven hundred and twenty dollars a year with over five hundred million million in canceled subscriptions. You never got to get on the phone with customer service. Um, look, I've used Rocket Money to cancel a bunch of stuff that I didn't need, a bunch of apps. And also, I signed up for stuff. They have reoccurring charges. You guys know what I'm talking about when they say, first month is this much, and then you forget how much the next 10 months are, and it adds up. Rocket Money finds it and gets you to stop paying unnecessary bills. That's right. They'll even get you a refund for the last couple of months wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills for you up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Stop wasting money on things you don't use, guys. Cancel your own unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash badfriends. That's rocketmoney.com slash badfriends. Rocketmoney.com slash badfriends. Bad Butcher, Butcher box. box. I love meat, dog. You know I love meat. I love baby. protein, I'm and I love high-quality uh, meat. And that's the problem right now. A lot of times, uh, people are getting meat that's not high quality, uh, and, and they don't know where to turn to go get it. They don't want to go to a butcher shop. They don't want to go to a grocery store. Now, you can easily find high quality quality meat and seafood you can trust. It's 100% grass-fed beef, right? Free-range organic chicken, pork-raised, crate-free, and wild-caught seafood. Oh my God. Humanely raised. No antibiotics or hormones. None of that stuff injected into your food. Get rid of that crap. There's nothing better than driving up to, in your driveway and seeing a butcher box box outside That's your so door. exciting. You I know so what I'm making for the pork night. Pork chops. Mm. You know what I mean? Salmon. Yeah. Salmon, I love salmon those little critters. And pork and chicken and beef. I'm a, I'm a beef eater. I do love it. And 100% grass fed is the only way to go because there's so much stuff out there that's nasty and inhumanely raised. ButcherBox is doing it the right way. New members get two pounds of ground beef, three pounds of chicken breasts, or two pounds of salmon wow. for free in every order for a whole year. For Plus a year. $20 off your first order. 20 bucks off your first order as well is insane. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash badfriends and use that code badfriends to choose your free offer and get $20 off. But you know, here's the thing about young love though. Yeah. I've been asking around to people, where has it gone? 
Young love? For me. Well, you're 52. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I, 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 no, that's what, I'm not saying young love. Where's old love? No, no, I, yeah, old love. I'm just saying the feeling of like... You know, St. Andrew's retirement home is right down the street from me. Yeah. Come by sometime. <laughs> I know. What I'm saying is the feeling of like you're in a pink cloud, butterflies. You get... The, you, no, I don't. You don't get that anymore? You don't get it. I remember in my your age, it was intense. It's different. It was like... But you're feeling it for the first time. Yeah, but it was just like, oh my God, this is it. This is, you know, I mean, this is going to fulfill every... And it doesn't, does it? Dream. No, because it, it always, I, you always get betrayed. It lets you down. Yeah, yeah. In some way, you're going to get let down. But... but I want to... But what I'm saying is, I'm trying to find that yeah. in my life now. But you're going to get... That feeling. No, I haven't felt that since I was their age. You'll get a different version What about Atika Laila when you first met I did Atika get Lala. it for, with her for a couple of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway... Um, no, but but you're going to find it in a different way. <laughs> Stop rubbing your tits. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Stop it. I, no, I just... Stop. You're gonna there's get a me, warm feeling Stop. of... Uh, no, can I just do you're this? You're going to get me hard if you keep doing that. <laughs> I know, but... I I I I, I want to feel it in my chest, like love. You're gonna get the love. It's just gonna feel different. You're not that young anymore. Your view, your 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 viewpoint on the world is different. So you're not gonna feel the same. You know what? You know what it's like for an addict. Remember the first time you got high? Yeah. Greatest thing in the world. Yeah. And then the second time, and the third time, and the fourth time you got high. And by the fiftieth time you got high. Yeah. It didn't feel like the first time you got high at all. It was kind of a letdown. I think that's what it is. So you're looking at it, looking for the old high. You need to chase the new high, not drugs. You need to chase love in the way of like, or like this a, is just who you are now. They should have a business, like a Black Mirror episode, mm -hmm. a place where they wipe your memories. You, your Scientology is open 24 <laughs> hours a day. I, I know, <laughs> but just a place where I can just restart. Well, when you die, I think you restart. You think so? 100%. I think when we die, we restart into another soul and body and entity. Okay. I think you've died a thousand times. You just don't know it. Not as Bobby Lee, mm. but as other shit. What do you think I was? Before this? Yeah. A worm. Samurai. <laughs> a samurai worm. Oh, yeah, a samurai yeah. worm. A noble Yeah, 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 yeah. Worm. What if you were a unicorn? <laughs> oh, that's why you love it so much. Yeah. Uh, I don't love it. That's why you're mentioning it now. I'd, yeah. have, I'd rather have Minotaur. I'd rather have Minotaur come than You're definitely not Minotaur. No. 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 You're, you're Minotaur? I'm definitely more Minotaur than you are. Yeah. But I'm, I'm not. Centaur. You're no. not a centaur. No. Oh, fuck. Why not? You're, you're a unicorn. A worm to what? How about a siren? You're a worm. No. no. no I'm not you're, a worm. You're a warrior worm. Worm's not a mythological creature. A worm sure it is. is. Worms have been around for billions of years. I know, but it's not in the folklore of... of... It is now. Uh, how, how about... Can I be a worm like in Dune? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to be a gigantic no, worm. No, you're an earthworm. You're a little tiny baby earthworm. No, no, no. I want to be one of those... Uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the desert. No. In dune, Dune. I want to be a Dune worm. That's you. You're an Asian, <laughs> Asian jumping worm. No, Google worm. Dune worm. Google, Google Dune worm. That's an Asian jumping worm. Yeah, Google That's what dune, you are. Dune worm. Dune worm, dude. No, you're that's not. That's me, no, dude. No. Yeah, that's my butthole. No. no. Have you seen no. my butthole? That's, exactly like that. No, dude. it's not. <laughs> what? It's, it's got the lines and everything. Look, at that's me, dude. You're in, And that's pussy right there, those two girls. You're an Asian <laughs> jump. They're going into your butthole? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You're an Asian jumping worm. Okay, well, then what are you then? Ask the girls. What was I in my previous life? I feel like Tito Andrew would be like a horse. Or yeah, like, a centaur. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, that's oh, me. Right? Right, right. Oh, that's, yeah. oh, so he gets a good one. Yeah, I get yeah. worm. No, no, no. But you've okay. Well, okay, how about this, girls? What was he yeah, before yeah. he was a worm? Maybe, maybe you were you were the one that rode Tito Andrew. That's right. I rode him. You rode on my back. You were like yeah. in, in my horse hairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no, dude. Okay, check it out. No, it's like those. You know, in on a whale, uh -huh. right? They had the little fish. That's that you. clean their back? That's you. That's not me. 100% that's you. You're the, you're the no. barnacles on the whale. Oh, you're the so barnacle. Like a... You're a fucking barnacle. I'm a barnacle on your whale back. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Dude, that looks exactly like you. I know, but does that even have a brain and feelings? Do you? No. Okay, barnacle. I'm a barnacle. <laughs> barnacle Bobby. Yeah, barnacle Bobby. Mar barnacle Bobby riding on a whale's back. All right, dude. Enough. Make you feel better. What I, was he before he was a worm? Because you lived enough. You lived other. So many men. So many lives. What yeah, was he before yeah. he was a worm, girl? Maybe you were working on nine to five. Yes, you. I was working a regular nine to five. Person. Yes, a regular guy a working on nine to five. Yeah. What? He was a blowfish. Mm. Man, you've been working nine to five at a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Can I speak to the manager? I'm sorry, but the blowfish has forgotten so many. It, our drinks came late. Yeah. Well, I don't have any hands. <laughs> <laughs> what a shitty server. Shitty. Or I was a blowfish. You're a blowfish. Well, let's go to you guys then. Oh, yeah. What were the girls? Oh, shit. 
How many varieties of maggots are there? Oh. <laughs> you, you can't make the call because we already made your call. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? So once yeah. you make the call, I can't make a call? Can't make a yeah. call, baby. What kind of fucking game is this? What are you talking about? They do address. Yeah, they do I think, address. I think, call. I think Rudy. Oh, my God. I can I can see it now. Her previous life. Butterfly. Butterfly. I no, think, no, not, not butterfly. Rudy huh. was. Dolphin. Rudy was. Um, Mermaid. Have you ever been to the Great Wall of China? No. At the Great Wall of China, there's a little patch, uh, that that a little crack in the rocks, and, and flowers go grow through. Oh! There. Whoa, 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 whoa! What coral? Huh? Flowers. Uh, I mean, okay. There's a group of wild flowers, <laughs> and the Chinese government has just let it continue to grow. So now it's a patch of wild flowers. I think you were a wild flower. That's at the Great that's Wall of so China. Cute. That's good. He said, "Where were you before this? I can see it in my head. Let me let me see it if I." <gasps> Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God, I see it. Yeah, yeah. I see it now. Oh! Uh, oh no! Uh, oh no! Oh no, what, what, what? Oh. What, what, what? Oh, no, she was, oh my God, she was a little ground squirrel. A little, <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh. a little tiny ground squirrel, and she popped up oh, at, yeah, yeah, at yeah. a construction site, <laughs> and her hut, oh. Head, oh. head came right off. Oh, shit. Oh my God, it was a tragic oh. death. That was, that was, Oh, you have the ability? I can see. <laughs> L oh, oh my God. I, I, Let me see Carlos. You really <gasps> have the... Oh, oh, I can see Carlos. Oh, yeah, yeah. What oh, my God. It? I can see it? Carlos. What is it? What is it? Hold on. What is it? <gasps> oh, 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 my God. You remember? Oh, my God. You know, in, in New York, in Central Park, they had the horses on the carriages? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know the bag that catches all the horse poop? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Carlos. That's Carlos. He was a bag of horse shit. Oh, shit. He was the bag that collected oh, yeah, all were, the yeah, horse shit in Central Park. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God, at the turn of the 20th Whoa, dude, you're gifted. Wow. Well, let me see if I can do fancy. We should have a 1-800 number. Yeah, just to call me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Call me now for your free history reading. <laughs> yeah. It's Miss, <laughs> Mr. Cheeto. Mr. Yeah. Cheeto. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can do fancy. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh! I know. Oh, would you can, can you feel it? Oh, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I just gave it to you. I just gave it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. What is it? He's the, um. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what it is. He's a, he, lice. <gasps> oh, I oh, see yeah, it. Yeah, but, not, but, but not on top of human head. No, no, no. no, no, no pussy. No, no, not, not in front of pussy. <laughs> not in front of pussy. Not in front of pussy either. Not a pussy. Not a pussy. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. It, it, it's a, it, it's a turd. It's a turd. It's a turd. It's a turd. It's a turd creature. Oh. It's, it's. It's Eric Griffin. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I like yeah, that. Yeah. I like that Rudy said you're a fucking pussy lice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pussy li Women don't get lice. Do Wait, they get do, lice? You guys know about pussy lice? Is that a real thing? Yeah. yeah no, way. no way. Crabs. Yeah. Don't, no, crabs and lice are two different. Two different things. Cubic plans. lice is super common. Tiny insects that look like tiny versions of the crabs you see at the beach. Oh. They live on the skin and coarse hairs. People... Get pubic lice. Whoa. No way. Have you guys ever known anybody that's got that? No. No. But we used to have so much lice on our hair. Yeah. When you were kids. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, a lot. Really? <laughs> you know, it would take like so weeks funny. picking it out. Yeah, Wait. guess what? Guess what? Andrew and I never had it. Never had it. You know why? Shower. <laughs> it's probably because you were a lice in your old life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, wow. and then you died from getting picked and then you were born as Bobby Lee. Oh, wow. Picked on, picked. <laughs> I get it. What Wait, how, what, how do you get lice out of your hair? I don't know. It I don't know. Happened. Roll around the, the dirt. That was how you I got feel like it you, That's how you get Probably. more lice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Combing wet hair with a fine tooth knit comb remove lice and some knits. Oh. There's something called knits. Uh. Yeah, we used to have a lot. And like eggs and like everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and the egg? Yeah. The yeah. Egg. You would oh, see like crawling. And I bet you money. I bet you, you eat those too. No. Oh, we, no. Yeah, right before it's about to hatch, right? You eat it like a balut. Balut? Like little, little tiny balut oh, balls. Oh, we don't eat Yeah, it. little balut balls. You want some balut with sprinkle of lice? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so basically, so you get the little eggs too up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So lice comes from eggs. They're, yeah. They lay them. They're just that's reincarnating right. on your head. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. They're so itchy. Yeah, yeah, I bet. A lot. Yeah. Did they come from... Oh, uh, imagine that. Dude. That's awful. Oh, that's awful. You never had lice? No. no we never have lice. <laughs> <laughs> we don't ever get stuff like that. If you live in like a swampy area, you can get like... Uh, if you go swimming and swim, you can get leeches. Ticks. Ooh. Ticks and leeches Ooh. from the for from the woods. Yeah. yeah. You can get... T and ticks give you Lyme disease. You know what that is? Yeah. yeah. You guys have that over there? No, Lyme disease, no. but they have you have leeches in the water, don't you? Have leeches? Show them a leech. You don't have leeches at all. I've never seen. I've never seen one. Oh, they suck on your skin like that. They suck bit. your blood. 
They're little vampires. Look at that. Maybe that Tito Bobby was like that. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, really? Now I'm yeah. that too? <laughs> you weren't a vampire. I'm that too. You were a leech. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Interesting. She's saying before, before, this was another life. Another life. You, have I ha ever had a good, a one? good life? You were a nine to five no, blowfish. No. I was a nine to five blowfish as a waiter. And then you were a, a leech. Where? Where was he a leech? Was he working? In the as Philippines. Oh, you yeah, were a leech in the, in the Philippines. Oh, in the Philippines. He wasn't working. He was. He was oh, wait, wait, wait. I was a lazy vampire leech. No, you were a homeless leech. All right, so I didn't even want to work. No, no, you were just. You homeless. guys no, you just go ahead. And, you guys go in and suck the blood. I'm just gonna sit here on the you corner and beg for fucking. You couldn't get any blood. You would beg for blood. You'd sit. All the guys would go suck all day. They'd come home and you'd yeah. be like, "We got any blood?" And wow. no one would give you any. Speaking of blood, I was watching uh, Earth, Planet Earth. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And there was an episode where they have these little, this island where these birch birds. Right? Birch bird, a birch bird. bird. Yeah, and. This tiny island, there's not a lot of food and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So how do they eat? They have these gigantic seagulls that fly over there, right? Because they can't make it to the mainland, these little birds. And what they do is they jump on top of their backs. They poke them, their back, mm -hmm. and they start drinking their blood. Whoa. That's kind of smart. Yeah. That is very smart. Yeah. And the fucking, those gigantic birds, they don't even know what's going on. They don't They're just care. They're walking around like, mm, you know what I mean? They don't know. Wow, they suck Incredible. the blood out of their backs to stay alive. Yeah, vampire birch birds, maybe. They're like zombies. They are no, like, no, no, look at their eyes alive. are blood red. Oh. So they drink blood. See, right there. Whoa. Whoa. Zoom in that photo. That's cool. And the big bird doesn't care. No, you think, look at him. He's like, Duh. Oh, he just digs in. They dig in. Isn't that unbelievable? So they're just taking advantage of this other bird's blood, but they don't ever eat anything but blood? I think there's certain times of the year where they can't get anything, right. so they, they, they go, oh, we'll go blood. They just got to eat blood. Isn't that unbelievable, though? Look at that. I watched... Do you even get full with blood? Well, I don't want it you to try to how, find out. Yeah, it depends on how much blood you drink. I'm sure you can. You can get full off of blood. Yeah, yeah. You ever had blood? No. Oh. Oh, someone's not in Hollywood. <laughs> You never been to a, a you restaurant? Never had baby blood? You never had baby blood? You never been to a restaurant where they offer you blood? Yeah. No. It's you know what's so you know what's so gross though is that bird, uh -huh. that little blood bird. Yeah. I bet you, in a species format, would outlive. It has outlived humans mm. and will outlive humans forever. Yeah. And they're sucking blood. Yeah. Meanwhile, we're eating Wendy's and mm. fucking Taco Bell. But you know what? Maybe we should be sucking blood to live longer. Here's a concern, though. What, what if the seagull's gay and he's unprotected? <laughs> yeah, he's you know dangerous I mean? blood. Flies back. That's right. Infects the whole fucking. Up. <laughs> now you have a bunch of French mercury colony. birch birds. <laughs> 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 you know. I saw this morning. I was watching the History Channel. I love this stuff. I love the History Channel. I love nature and history. Me too. Do you like ancient aliens? I love anything that's ancient. Ah, uh, me too. <laughs> Nothing current. Yeah, yeah. No modern shit. I, yeah. You like ancient? Like ancient old stuff. Old is, what's stuff. The, is there old shit? Like when you, in the Philippines, is there like old ruins that you can go, go visit and stuff? They're not ruins, but they are old. There's old yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. Like but old there, natives. There's, like, there's no like Mayan temple. Well, the Mayans wouldn't be there. I mean, just some temple that you guys. I don't think temples. No. You guys never did buildings back in the day. They are. Buildings. They still don't have buildings now. I know. Let me go back to the five ruins. Go back to the five, the ruin, that the magical five ruins of the Philippines. You just were at. Yeah, ruins of famous ruins in the Philippines. Here we go. Here we go. Fortune Island. Oh, the sunken cemetery is cool though. Yeah, what's going on there? Oh yeah. There's just. Oh, Whoa. There's that. That's a dope. That's cool. Yeah. So yeah, wait, yeah. there's a cemetery that's that got that's overtaken by water over the years. That sounds like the Spaniards did this. This is from the Spaniards. That's disgusting. <laughs> I think this was because of a volcano. Yeah, the Spaniards. We call them volcanoes. Here. Oh. <laughs> so Mount Vulcan. Or that could be Aqua, Aquaman's family. Right there, all dead. Yeah. Sunken. Have you Cut guys, that out. That's you, not even funny. <laughs> 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 I just throw things out and I go, why did I just say that? Sorry. That you guys tough. have never been here. <laughs> I've been there. You but swam I, down there? No, we no. can't swim because they said it's haunted. So Shut up. <laughs> It's haunted. The there's so many down. graves there. I know. Oh, really? I there's the spirits. Have weird. you ever seen a ghost in the water swimming doing a backstroke? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably can't swim. So when there's someone swimming on top, they're gonna try to reach onto you to get back up in the air. Yeah. Oh, so we're buoys. Mm. Yeah. To fucking ghosts. They drink mm. the blood too. But what happens if a ghost catches you? What happens in the water? It's not gonna kill you. It's gonna drown you. Yeah. Oh, just like in Lord of the Rings. Do you remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you talking? You remember? About? What are you talking about? 
Lord of the Rings? Yeah, but when does he cut? When does someone underwater? I think in the third movie, there's a swamp area, and Gollum tells Frodo not to look, or but the starry eyes. Shut the fuck up! So, do you remember? I'm not a nerd, dude. I've seen the movie before. Do you guys not know this? Right, and so then Frodo fucks up. And he stares at it. Looks into the water. Looks in the water and there's a, kind of a dead glowy eye in there. But right? doesn't try to get him. No, but that he goes into a trance. Oh, right. Then he falls into the fucking swamp. So they trance And you. then all the fucking ghosts in the water caught, try to grab him. And guess what? The fat fuck Sam mm -hmm. right, dives in and gets him. He gets him. Always a fatty to save yeah. the day. No, it was Gollum, actually. It wasn't oh. fat fuck. Oh, thank God. Yeah, yeah. Was Sam and the other guy gay? Yeah. Okay. So, what, what? No. Yeah, he. Yeah, they were. No, they weren't gay, it dude. It came They're... out years later they were gay. They were? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, well, the internet. Know. It broke the internet. Well, Look I... it up. Yeah, yeah, Was Sam from Lord of the Rings gay? Is it because they cried a lot on each other's arms? Yeah, that's what I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, sometimes that happens when you're about to die, too. The <laughs> fantasy science fiction author uh, Marion Zimmer Bradley wrote that Frodo and Sam are the most intense yeah. love described in the book. Told you. Yeah, but it's not. It's the kind of love me and Andrew have. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. Hold up. Back up. First of no, all, no, no. the love that you and I have, no. pictures of my cock are on your hallway. Exactly. Same thing as Sam and Frodo. That's what I'm saying. It's the love we have. Yeah, gay. <laughs> it's not gay. That's, I, some, most guys would no, argue check it, it is. No, let, check it out, dude. We go down to Alabama and talk about our love. <laughs> no, it, This is gay, our, dude. Our love is so That little Chinese and Irish man are fucking gay, dude. <laughs> Y'all seen them Ch that Chinese dude, that little fucking redhead and Chinese dude? <laughs> <laughs> them dudes is gay, dude. They flirt all the time. He kissed his nutsack one time on live stream. I did, I did, but that's not gay. <laughs> okay. What? You know, I'm gonna, let me just explain myself real quick, and I want to be real, not even you know, in a comedy way. <laughs> all right, and I really believe this. Okay. Okay. I believe that you and our our love is so intense, right? That's on the edge of gay, but it hasn't <laughs> crossed the line. It's so close to gay, it's a million miles away. Exactly. I understand. So what basically what I'm saying is is that if you and I went on a journey. A Much like Frodo and Sam. You're saying like a date? No. Well, yeah. <laughs> a date journey, however you want to say okay. it. Okay. Right? And we're having meals out in the forest. Some call it picnics. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I just call it second breakfast. Second breakfast. Yeah, right. B2. Yeah. And you and I, you know what I mean? At nights, because it's cold at night. It is. Right? Because we're trying to get to Mordor. It's far away. Yeah. What do we do? Get naked fuck. and hug each other. But fuck. No, we don't. We don't fuck. <laughs> We don't butt fuck. We don't butt fuck. Dude. We just get, get naked. We and get hug. naked and hold because yeah. of our body, warmth. body warmth. Yeah, and we're so comfortable with each other. That's right. Right. Butt fuck. No, no, we don't butt fuck. We don't. We sleep. Who's, first who's of all, little yeah, spoon? Yeah, yeah, no, it's, who's, who's the, the little, little spoon? spoon? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. yeah. And also, can I just? Say I'm this? a fucking ladle. Yeah. He's a, he's a little like a little baby spoon. Also, the ring is so dangerous that we we have wrap it around Andrew's dick, <laughs> right? And, and my butthole is the safe. <laughs> Right, and it, has that's to, not, it has to turn yeah, and yeah, lock. Yeah, yeah, but that's not gay. We're protecting the ring. That's right. No one can pull me out. Once I'm in and locked, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can't locked. get out. And we sleep, right? <laughs> Gollum's in the tree watching us going, look at these fucking gay fucks. <laughs> right. Right, but so we do that, right? We do. And then in the morning when we go travel, we unlock <laughs> and this, and I, I, I do a little sigh like, oh. <laughs> You know what I mean? And then we go on our voyage again, That's right? right? Every night we do the fucking routine. <laughs> lock the, we lock, right? we, we lock the ring into the safe. <laughs> Right, but that's not gay, dude. That's just keeping the ring safe. It, yeah, we're keeping it I, safe. I really commend you guys for keeping thank you. Ring. Yeah, but then when we get to the fucking <laughs> when we get to the fucking Mordor, when we arrive, we're trying to throw it in, mm -hmm. right? We both die. Yeah, we both <laughs> because we forgot to unlock. <laughs> we just jump in together. Yeah, this is how we want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morgan and Morgan. Morgan. It's 2024 now, so let's talk about something important. Mm -hmm. If you get injured by a person, place, or thing, you deserve to get paid. Yes, you Life do. Life can be crazy sometimes, and one person's negligence can result in another's settlement. If you're in an accident, not calling a lawyer means you could be leaving money on the table. When you're seriously hurt uh, or injured, you, you, you could be worth millions. Your little accident could help you out and get you some money that you deserve in something serious and unfortunate. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan and Morgan. Why wouldn't you do it? 
because Morgan Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 1,000 lawyers. That's insane. With $20 billion recovered for over 500,000 clients, Morgan Morgan has a proven track record of fighting to get you full and fair compensation. I got in an accident in my neighborhood. I've told you guys this, and I wish I knew about Morgan & Morgan because I didn't know what to do or where to turn to. Uh, and, and I wish I knew because submitting an injury claim with them is so simple. It's easier than listening to this show. Mm -hmm. Okay. For the people, F O R the people dot com slash bad friends or pound law pound five to nine from yourself. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan and Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. For more information, go to for the people dot com slash bad friends or pound law pound five to nine from your cell. That's uh, for the people, F O R the people dot com slash bad friends pound law pound five to nine from your cell. This is a paid advertisement. Display. Display is a one of a kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. Check it out, guys. When I was a little kid, dude, and I had like Duran Duran posters, you know what I mean, and they would like disintegrate in my wall within a week. I had a, a poster in my room, a, pa a paper thin poster of Kathy Ireland, a, mo a model from back in the 1916s, <laughs> right? Or whatever, and it was so nasty and gross. But Display has created a 21st century canvas that's sturdy, magnet mounted, and durable enough to withstand a lifetime of in intense enjoying and staring bro okay. these these this place we're holding up now have been here for like a year yeah and well, they look brand new dude well hey yeah it's a they're metal hard. dude they're not going anywhere it's a perfect alternative for standard paper posters that often get damaged ideal present idea and it doesn't make leave marks on the wall they're also carbon neutral so you're saving the tre tre trees ladies and gentlemen tre -tre -tre -tre. sorry you're saving the tre -tre 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 -tre. <laughs> Do you know what display this? Uh, it's like a metal poster, right? It's a one-of-a-kind metal poster. Okay. Designed to capture your finest moments. All right. How do you put it on a wall? Okay. Well, well, there's a little, uh, a little sticker back here, a little plate back here. Yeah. And you put it on the wall, and it's totally magnetized, so it doesn't leave any marks on your wall. Yeah. No nails or anything. Nothing. That's can you push pause for a mark. second? And you can. Yeah, but why are garbage men? Are they garbage men? What are they? They used to be. They got fired. They were eating the trash. <laughs> That was the problem. They have to throw the trash away. They were eating too much of no, it. We love those guys. They're very talented. They're the best. And they shouldn't be commenting about our display because it's better than any display that they've ever been yeah, able yeah. to come so, up with. All right? Yeah, go suck it. And you know what? If you want to support us and not support these cats, yeah. go ahead and buy our displays at displate.com and go check out the Bad Friends display. displays. You guys know Displate. They've been a part of the Bad Friends family for a long time. And if you know, you know. And if you don't, then you better check If you don't, out. you're, you're going to lose. You're losing. You're losing. You're losing at everything, pal. So uh, make sure you get your displays and use the link in the description. The discount will be applied automatically at checkout or use code BADFRIENDS at checkout to get 22% off for one to two displays, 33% off for three or more displays. Or more. That is a very, very good deal. Yeah. Uh, so get uh, get your displays uh, in the description. That uh, code is going to be bad friends. It should be applied automatically at the checkout. But if it's not, just use code bad friends. Display, Display collect your passions. passions. Are you sad that you're going to go home tomorrow? Yeah, I'm pretty sad. When are you going to come back to the States? Do you even know? No. No, it's undetermined. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Last time you were here was a year or two ago. A year? A year. God, that's wild. So do you usually come every year though or no? Um. Yeah, lately. Once a year. Yeah. Well, you came for her birthday. I remember mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Once a year is a good... Are you going to end up moving here? You said you wanted to last time. I want to. I, but, think, I think she should come for college. Well, you've still got to get through high school first. Uh, you never know. She might not graduate. But can we do the you same good program? Grades? I got good grades. Yeah. Can we do the same same thing we did for you? Same program. Well, you came in high school, right? Mm -hmm. And we li you lived lived at my house. Mm -hmm. You came your senior year, right? Junior. 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 And we walked you through high school. Why can't we do the same for her? I don't know. You can, she can. You want to do that? I guess. But I'll, she she's gonna miss. Yeah. She doesn't want to. So leave. why don't you finish high school, mm -hmm. like dump your boyfriend, and then you can move to the states? But also we got. What? Oh yeah, your boyfriend. Your better. boyfriend's brown. Yeah. Oh man, we got some. We got we an upgrade. Some good whites. We got some upgrades. Some, upgrade. some good whites. Well, well, he's like, not white. brown actually. He's not brown. He's the whiter side of the Philippines. I know, but wait still brown. Wait till you get here. <laughs> yeah. Wait till you see how white some of these guys are. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. We got the, some. The skin is so dry. Top whites. Top whites. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we also what? Would we have blacks too? We have everything. Really. We have everything here. Yeah, everything you've ever. We have a more variety. So why not? Let me ask you something. In the Philippines, if you go to a 31 Flavors, do you know what that is? They don't no. have that. Baskin Robbins? An ice oh, Baskin Robbins. An ice cream place, mm -hmm. right? Is there only one flavor there? No. No. We poop, have all poop, the flavors. Poop. Yeah, poop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, welcome. Poop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, have, we have all the flavors. All the flavors. We have every single one you've ever dreamed of. 
and more. She likes her boyfriend. Don't dump your boyfriend. Have fun and then come. But move out here. Why, why don't we do that? Yeah. Yeah. Nah. What? We had enough with her. What do you mean? Well, here's the deal. One Headache. comes in, one's got to go. So yeah, no, yeah. No, no, you no, got to no, go no. back. <laughs> That's the deal. That's the no. Fancy came in because someone left. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason oh, this George? works. No, no, no. I mean, from the Spain. He had to, you. When you come here from Spain, you have to send a Spaniard back to Spain. That's the only way it works. It's it's reciprocation. You have to. Come. It is. We're full. Don't you listen to Donald Trump? We have too many. Yeah. We're fucking and you're full. Also poisoning the blood. Yeah, that's true. You're poisoning the blood of, of pure Americans. Pure like what you Americans. Mean poisoning. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, right. right. Your boyfriend, right, is an American, is he not? Yeah. God and lift. if you guys had a baby, what happens? Green card. Poison <laughs> the blood. But the blood's poisoned. No. Yeah, yeah. No. No? It's upgraded. I'm not going to have kids. I'm going to abort it. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, all right. All right. Okay. Man, hey, yeah, yeah. she really is American. <laughs> yeah, you are American. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what does that say? Schools in the Philippines have a stricter management. They have str They have stricter management than the United States. They have a higher standard of education. There. Do they really? Well, that, I'm not surprised. Look at this fucking country. We're upside down. Higher standard <laughs> of education in the Philippines. Students are taught well. Teachers are considered second parents to the students. Wow. Are your teachers like your parents? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like best friends. Like They're you, like you hug them goodbye and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's insane. I fucking, my teachers, opposite. Yeah. Hated. Hated them. Hated. Hated them. They hated me. I fucking hated them. They hated them, man. We were bad kids. Oh, yeah. But I mean, Really that's, bad. That's, what happens with bad kids in the Philippines? I don't know. There's not even a detention. Yeah, there's no detention. What? There's yeah. no detention. There's no su suspension. You just go, you just well, go talk to the, the principal or something. Yeah, but that's What does it. he say? Yeah. Stop being so bad. Yeah. yeah. Stop being so bad. <laughs> yeah. Be better. Because I remember <laughs> on the third grade, someone stabbed okay. someone with a pencil. Right. <laughs> what is it, prison? No. <laughs> it's their Sandy Hook. <laughs> <laughs> There was a mass stabbing today yeah, yeah, yeah. with a number two pencil. <laughs> yeah. And you know how hard those are to acquire. So he stabbed him with a number two. Did he die? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened, but he was still there. He was still going to school. Nothing happened. That's a, that is a, and that's a talked about thing. Wait, wait, a wait, so a student stabbed a teacher with a pencil? No, not a teach, a uh, student stabbed another student. Right. What if that kid still had the pencil in <laughs> Can't take, it out. can't take it out. He draws with it. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. What does that say, though? You go back. It said there's never, ever been a school shooting in the Philippines. Yeah, the school shooting. Yeah. That's that's really fucking, real. why can't we do this? Well, they don't have guns. That's right. There's no guns in the Philippines? The cops have guns. They kind of it's illegal to have. It's access. Yeah. It's access. No, but wait a minute. The cops do have guns, though. Yeah, yeah, the cops. There's got to be some bad cops doing bad shit, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, my cops, God. See, the cops are up to no good. Yeah, there was one shooting at Ateneo de Manila. Oh, Ateneo de Manila. It's at a university. Yeah. But it's not, is that high school there? No, that's a it's college. It's college. Okay. Wow. Shooting but, but at a oh, college? Ateneo. Is... Ateneo is a good school. Mm -hmm. but think that's about, a good school. Think about this, it's though. A good school. English is, you know, a second language to them, right? Of course. But look how great she speaks. Yeah. You, we don't realize that that's... You know, her language is her native tongue. No, I know. And she can she can do They're smarter than us. I think that's what they it pay is. more attention to shit. Yeah. And they I wouldn't be able to tell a difference, I don't think. Would you if she said she was born here? They sound identical. Yeah. Okay. Really? She's been here for much longer. But you yeah. got yeah. But I think she has more of like a American or something. She has better English than me because I feel like I still have the accent. Well, she's smarter than you. That's true. Yeah, that's a big piece of it. Hey, can you guys like talk like a valley girl? Oh yeah, let's hear you talk oh my like God, a Yeah. See, <laughs> she can do it. That sounds exactly uh, exactly. From say, now, for the next couple of minutes, just talk that way. Say okay. say say um, I, say today. I want. What do kids do? Uh, the mall. Order order, the, order a coffee. Oh uh, yeah, I'm so good at this. Ordering I, coffee. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do it on oh, purpose oh, in oh, the oh, Philippines. All right, let me be this. Let me be the guy. Okay. All right. Hello. Hi. Can no, I'm Let me. Oh, let okay, me. Okay, sorry, sorry. Welcome to. Where are you? Of the Philippines. She's here. We're I, here. I still, I no, still no, have no, a language. Let's do it like that because that's oh. how I do it in the Philippines. I always yeah. purposely oh, do it. Welcome to Starbucks. That's not the accent. <laughs> it doesn't no. matter. Welcome to the Starbucks. Starbucks. What's, it, what's the local coffee shop called there? Yeah. We don't have one. There's no local. Just Starbucks. Only Starbucks. Or Starbucks. Coffee Bean. Welcome to Coffee Bean. Or Box. You can, Welcome you can to do Bose. Bose. Welcome to Bose. Can I take your order, please? Hi, can I get a um? Can I get a grande matcha latte, please? Oh my, oh my god. god! That's so, so fucking. Good. That sounds exactly like a valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Rudy, you try. Now it's Rudy's turn. Okay, welcome to. Welcome to uh, no, coffee oh, box. she's sitting up. 
Hi, can I get an ice vanilla latte? With you sound like you. That's yeah, you. Yeah, you didn't yeah, even yeah, fucking you try. Even, you need the value glass. Yeah, 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 you can. You go far crazier. Try it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Get your body into it. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. queen. Yeah, yeah. Yes, queen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I get an ice vanilla latte? Oh, that's oh, pretty good. That's, good. that's pretty good. good. Yeah. One with autism, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's God, great. This is so that one's so good. So good. That really sounds like if you close your eyes, yeah. Uh say, uh, um, oh my God, I lost my valet ticket. Oh my god, I lost my valet ticket. That's fucking Oh my god, dude, we gotta get an agent. When I close my eyes, <laughs> I, I literally see like a white chick. I do too. Yeah. That's what some of my friends say, because I do it with my friend a lot, and then it's become like my accident kind of. So Wait. Who taught you to? Well, where did you hear to do it? Were you just from internet? online? Online, the internet. yeah, the internet. But then I would meet new friends on the internet, and they would think I would be a white girl. Wow! Wow! <laughs> what a superpower! You could catfish. I can. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow! She's Cat a queen. Wow! You should catfish as a white. girl. I have catfished. Really? I got money w from it. Wait, oh. tell wait, us. Wait, 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 wait! Stop. <laughs> yes. Tell the fake stuff. Uh, okay. Oh, I have to tell you guys something. Okay, okay. I have. Okay, so. You know how you stalk people on Instagram, right? No, no we don't. You but don't? I've heard stalk about it. people? I stalk Bobby, people. You, stalk. you mean you're saying look at someone's Instagram, like an ex-boyfriend or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, but you oh. make like another that. account. It's like a Finsta. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know what's a Finsta? A fake one. Yeah, fake mm -hmm. account. I know what it is. And I you have, stalk it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I have a fake account because I saw a reel and it was like, it was something about like having a Finsta, right? And so I was like, I'm gonna make an Indian man finsta. <laughs> so I have, I'm just, I have an account where I just act like an Indian man, and then I talk to my mom on it. And oh yeah. I tried scamming her for an iPhone 15, and she replied to me. No. She did. Wait yeah, a minute. Did your your you tried to pretend that you were a guy interested in dating your mom? No, I the tried scam. to scam her. <laughs> Cause I I can't say the username because everyone's gonna know. It's yeah, me. don't say it. Yeah, don't say yeah. it. Yeah, Wait, yeah, how did yeah, you yeah. get money? Who gave you money? Oh no no, I didn't get money from that. I got money from Discord. What did you do on Discord to get money? I would I would pretend to be like a really cute Japanese girl, <laughs> and <laughs> they would give me like nitro and like one time I got Minecraft, but then when I stopped talking to them, he took it away. I was so mad. How much money did can you get on Discord? Um, I didn't get money, money. I got things like, like cr that could buy from, ah. that you could buy with money. Wow. Mm. It's crypto, Incredible. basically. Crypto. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Now, what you do, do you, you need to be a, a full time scam artist. We need, to, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why not? But could, do you do an Indian accent or no? No, I can't. Okay. Yeah, but you should really think about being a full time scam. No one's a criminal anymore like that, a professional <laughs> criminal. Yeah. That's not out to like hurt people physically. Yeah. But a professional scammer. That'd be great. That dude, dream big. <laughs> yeah, dream big. Dream fucking big. Yeah. Think about it. There's some old guy right now. There's some really old guy, right? Whose wife died years ago. He's got six or seven million dollars. He doesn't know what to do. You could steal from that guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he could be dead soon. You could steal from that guy. I'd support that. <laughs> Because the money's going to you guys anyways. It's going to my family. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's, that's right. So you should support it. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. All right, yeah. INS, get in here. INS, get in here now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's amazing. On, you know what's so funny, though? I, I don't know. Um, uh, Carnegie, you guys don't know. You know who Carnegie is? No? <laughs> Carnegie was one of America's richest men, right? And Carnegie believed that if you die rich, you're a soulless man. So he gave away, look it up, look up how much money Carnegie gave away at the end of his life. This guy gave away most of his fortune at the end and he believed to influence other rich people to, to be philanthropic. It was kind of the turn of the century. He he was like, people should give away. He distributed 350 million and had 30 million Incredible. left, which went to corporations endowment fund towards other things. He passed his head a single goal, achieving world peace. So Carnegie believed if you die with money, you're kind of a sucker. So he tried hard to give away all of his money. Imagine me Carnegie's son. Yeah, fuck, okay. dad. <laughs> I got fucking ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> a bus ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd no, be so pissed. Well, it, it, this influenced this influenced um, many other rich rich families, richer than him, to do the same thing, which was kind of interesting. I watched the whole thing about this. It was fucking insane. But he was, but because the the amount of wealth acquired by him uh, was equal, I think they had said at the time 
was equal to like $62 billion that he oh ended up God. like lording over and then realized it was worthless. He couldn't do anything with it. Wow. He had too much money. More money than anybody we ever have seen today. Because what's our richest guy on earth today has like upwards of 12, 20 billion, something like that? Elon Musk. Elon Musk is not in the 200. Oh my holy fucking holy shit. Holy fuck, that's a lot. I didn't know it was in the hundreds of billions. That's a lot. And he is the only person who also lost 200 billion. And got it back. <laughs> he's also Bobby's age. What? Wow. Oh, oh you're saying we're a failure. <laughs> no, he's I just saying a failure? that's a pretty big gap oh, of achievement. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But think about this is my point. What the fuck is he going to do with $229 billion? Give it to us. He should. He should. You listening here, Elon? Can you imagine? I watched your podcast. <laughs> Genghis Khan, all these guys, sick trillionaires who lived on earth and reached the pinnacle. Genghis Khan, Akbar the Great. Wow. But Gang wouldn't is, you wow. do that though? Just give out all your money when like you're dying already? You should. If you're dying, what the fuck are you going to do with it? You should yeah. give it all away when you're dying. Yeah. If you're dying, you should spend a lot, have fun. But how do you know when you're going to die? I think uh, if you reach an age when you're like, yeah. hey man, it's probably soon. Yeah, or but still, you, you still don't, you're, you're like in hospice, mm. right? And you're getting all the treatment, you're, you know, the rich man treatment, mm -hmm. right? When do you do it? The day... The, the day before? Well, I don't think it's like an immediate death. <laughs> no, I just want to know, man. On your deathbed, you push the button. Right, you go, okay, all of it. You can draft up a fucking living will, and then in your living will says- Oh, I see. That's my, what I would do. Yeah, on my final- on my, But right now, because when I'm alive on Earth, I still want all of it. Well, you don't want all of it. No, to the end. And then when I'm dead, <laughs> then go. Bad boy. No, not a bad boy, because you're going to still- You're I'm just gonna like Genghis to... Khan. That's right. <laughs> I am. Fuck it. You yeah. should give it away. I will when I die. When, uh, once I'm no longer conscious and here, yeah. then I'm gonna, I'll have it all worked out with my lawyers. Who would be the most unlikely person that you would give money to when you die? My oh my God, there's so many. <laughs> You're gonna give people money that you know like don't deserve it or you don't like anymore just, be, just to like show them up or something? Oh, you know what? That's cool. I, you know what I would do? I would give people money and just go, listen, dude, I knew a fucking jackass <laughs> while I was here and a complete and other fucking asshole. <laughs> And I fuck it. Every time I hear your name or saw you, I wanted to vomit. All right. But dude, here's a million dollars. That's like the best revenge. Is that ever. cool? Yeah, that would be a cool way to say fuck you. Fuck off. Have you ever heard the Adam Sandler story um, about Adam Sandler was at NYU and college and drama school? I might be misquoting, but and I guess one of the professors took him out for a beer and the professor was like, you don't have it. You just don't, I'm sorry, but you just like don't have it. Like I, I like I, you're such a great guy, but like you got to find another thing, dude. That, like this is not going to work out. Comedy? No, no. Just, yeah, well, acting and comedy and everything. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And then, you know, Adam was obviously like, well, fuck that. I'm not going to stop. And the guy was like, I'm just telling you, I just don't think this is your going to be your lifelong career. Wow. Right? And then at the height of Adam's career. Wow. When he's like tip top, I guess he's in a bar with a bunch of friends. Yeah. And sees that this professor is there. Wow. Right? And an opportunity to go up to him and what endless of possibilities. What would you do? Well, hold on. Let me finish okay. with this. But this, how, this, is, this is what kind of guy Sandler is. I love is. it. I love it. He walks up to the professor with his friends and says hello to him. His professor says hi. And he turns to his friends and he says, you know what? This was the only professor that bought me a beer. Oh. And then introduced him to his friends and that was that. I know. Class. Talk about a grade A classy guy, Sandler. Really class. What a fucking cool class. fucking dude. He could have done so many smart assy things. To, n not rude, but like he could have been like, I guess it worked out. But you know what I mean? Like, does the professor remember? That's the thing. Prof remember Adam Sandler? No, does he remember saying that to Adam? Oh, f if you yeah. took a guy out I for a would. beer, for sure you remember. This wasn't in class if he was like, Bobby. Uh, next next time the scene has got to be no yeah. no he took him out just him and him for a beer one on one to tell him he doesn't think this should he should continue he remembers I, 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 when, and after Adam Sandler said that I would love the professor to double down and be like still not working out <laughs> <laughs> or it's like once that Netflix deal is done yeah. you're shit you're tough or you, you won the lottery you know that oh 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 you that, go that, dude, that, oh, double right, that right? right like you still have you're garbage you still don't have any talent yeah right you would double down no no I don't know. What would you say to the professor? I'm at, there's got to be people in your life that at the beginning of your comedy career were like, you're not, you're not going to make it in comedy. Or they said something around well, I had words. I had one incident like that. What? Well, I, I just say, bloop his name out. An agent, his name is mm -hmm. from I know who he is. You do? Yeah. 
So uh, 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 Abby sent me a um, a meeting with him, and we're at, <laughs> and we're sitting there. I'm in his office, and he looks at me at, at, across from the desk, and he goes, "Yeah, I just you're not gonna work." And I go, "Not gonna get work is what?" Yeah, you, oh, yeah. I go, "What do you mean?" He's like, "You're funny, but it's like you're just never gonna work." <laughs> and I go, "Oh," and he goes, "I just don't see it." Wow. And I go. Okay, and I remember tears welling up in my eyes. Aww. And I, I, then we took the elevator down. Together? No, me and Abby. Oh, I was going to say, how weird. And my manager was like, um, it's okay, so we will find somebody else, right? And I'm like, I just don't, like, it's pointless. Why, you know? Mm -hmm. And then years later, I was on Mad, and David Salzman, the owner of Mad, goes, um, hey, Bobby, come into my office. Like, when it was off, and he goes, um, I need a Hispanic guy as an actor on the show. We've just, we had Nelson and Sancio, but it's been years ago. So I go, Johnny Sanchez. Yeah. He's my friend. Yeah. So he goes, who is that? And I kind of educated him and I called Johnny and I helped Johnny through the auditioning process. He got the show, but his agent. <laughs> wow. Right. So now we're at the first live, right? And I'm at Video Village and it's Johnny. He played Joker, one of his characters, mm -hmm. and it was in front of a live studio audience. And I'm sitting at Video Village, and because I, I, I'm so nervous for Johnny too, because I want him to hit a home run, mm -hmm. and I, I feel a presence right here, and it's him. it's a smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a presence. It's a smell. Yeah, right. And I look, and I go, I like I, I see my periff, and I go back to the monitor. And I go, like I do one of those. Mm -hmm. And I turn around, I, he locks eyes, and he's smiling. And I go, hey, man. And I hugged him. Wow. And I, hey, congratulations on Johnny. I'm so happy for him. That is a class. He's like, thanks for... But then I regret that. Why? Every single day. <laughs> no. I should have done something different. Bobby, that's a classy move. Yeah, yeah. Classy. I think at the end of the day, you fantasize about all these things, but your your true self comes out yeah. in those situations, and you go, who gives a shit? Because your heart is really good. Yeah, who gives a shit? Yeah. But... I've had, have you had a moment like that? Oh, dude. When I was a PA, when I first moved out here, there was a person who was a super powerful executive and uh, I wasn't a big fan. He just was pretty diminutive, uh, the way he spoke. I was young anyway, but he, they treated us like shit. Uh, back in the day, Hollywood, they, if you were a PA, dude, they might as well have pissed on you in the mornings. Like they fucking, you were dog shit. And when I finally went to quit, because I was quitting to go try to do comedy really like full time. And uh, I had to say it to one of these people and somebody else. And uh, I'm being very vague on purpose. But <laughs> but the guy, but I said, when after I put in my two weeks or whatever the yeah. fuck, he walked down the hallway because we were going down the same way. And he turned to me, he's like, so you really think this comedy, you're gonna do this comedy thing, huh? Oh, God. And I said, I mean, I really believe, like I really want to give it a shot. And he was like, hmm, you know, most people don't make it. And I was like, no, 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 I understand that. And honestly, but like, I have to try. And he goes, yeah. And he kind of like stood there for a second and he looked me in the face and he goes, good luck. But it wasn't good luck as in good luck. There's a way to say good luck. This When I, <laughs> yeah. when I learned the phrasing, the intonation of a word matters. He literally went, good luck. Like, <laughs> yeah. you're fucked. Yeah, it yeah. sounded like you're fucked. Yeah. Instead of, hey man, good luck. Right. Dif different, right? Yeah. No, good, this was yeah. good luck. Good luck. Like, yeah. fuck off. Good. Fuck, yeah. yeah. And... It hurt me a little bit because I was bummed and I was like, God, these motherfuckers, they, they think I'm dog shit. And I was out every night doing shows, two shows a night. So I just, can I just add something real quick, real quick? Yeah. Those little things too, because we're so, comics are extra sensitive. Of course. That we, 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 we replay those things in our head. Oh, I see his fucking face. Yeah, they, they just last a long time. Forever. They're forever. I don't, embedded in your- I don't know my mom's middle name, but <laughs> I remember that guy's fucking I know. face I know, I know, I know. saying that I thing. I know, I know. And then years later, okay. uh, I was at an event and I had gotten on, uh, I'm dying up here. Like I just booked the show and it was wow. like in the headlines of like, Jim Carrey produces, you know, hand picks, Jim hand picked us, Yeah, you know? And I was at an event and he was there working for a company and I blah, 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 blah. And uh, he he's there next to me and other people he's in this group setting yeah and i see him kind of looking over at me waiting to say something yeah and i, I love and that. i'm like and i wonder what this fucking <laughs> I love talking it. and talking and talking <clears throat> and he turns to me and he goes andrew congratulations uh on the show and i said 
I'm so, I'm sorry. <gasps> <laughs> wait, 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 no, there's no way. I said, I'm so, no, there's no way you did I that. Said, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry what? I'm sorry what? Say your say your name again. Oh. oh. And I go, I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking around. Oh, and very just, good. It was a nice. It was just to fuck around. No, but you still had that little. Uh, yeah, it was a joke. You had a dagger. A but dagger. Then, and then he and then he kind of chuckled at it, shook my hand. He said, "Very proud of you. Like happy for." I said, "Thanks yeah. a lot, man. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much." Yeah. And then I kind of broke off and went to get a drink. Yeah. But it felt so good because I wasn't mean. I was just joking. Yeah. It was clear I was kidding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I went to get a drink, and man, I got fucking wasted, <laughs> excited, just drinking at a party. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, look yeah, at me, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It felt. It just felt but like. Do you think he remembers? Probably not. Yeah. Probably not. Because I don't think that's my they, guy remembered. No, they probably don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't I remember don't hurting remember. your feelings. No. I have another story. Give another one. But th it's not about that. It's more about like, it's kind of that how. If you're nice, something happens. Yeah. So I was working the back door. I've never shared this story before. Good. And I, I cause I, it's one of those stories where it's like, I just feel it's too magical almost. Too perfect. It's a magical story. Yep. You wanna hear magic? Mm -hmm. How about you? You bitches guys? like magic? You guys like I magical like magic. stories? I love magic. <laughs> so I, was, I, I don't wanna name any names, but I was working the back door of the comedy store. And at that time, I had no bank account, I had no money at all. I had maybe 15 bucks in my pocket. And I remember Jason Glern, you know Jason, mm -hmm. right? He going, he's like, you know, I'm, you know what I like about you, Bobby? You're nice to people even though you're completely struggling and things are bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, thank Calling you. it out. Yeah. So one night I was working there and I see this lady in the parking lot and this is when the comedy store, nobody wanted to go. There was shootings, yeah. right? And it was just got a bad vibe to it. Yeah. And I see this lady, she was wearing like a power suit. She looked like a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. She didn't look like she belonged. Right. So I walked up to her and I go, excuse me, ma'am, um, can I help you? And she goes, I just fucking hate this club. I don't know how to get in here. You know what I mean? I'm seeing somebody, you know what I mean? I'm an agent, right? And I, and I go, okay, um, come here, follow me. I go to the back door and I go, just come into the, I'll get you Mitzi's seat. And I go, do you want a wine? And she goes, I would love some wine. I go, what would you like? I I bought it because they didn't get it for, give it to me for free. You paid for it. I paid for her wine. Wow. Right? Gave her a wine. She saw whoever she needed to see. And when she was leaving, she goes, what's your name? And I go, Bobby Lee. She goes, you do comedy, huh? I go, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm about to do premium blend or something. I don't know. You know what I mean? That was a big deal. Yeah, yeah. And she goes, okay. And then a couple, she leaves the agency that she's at, and now she's at Fox, mm -hmm. right? And I'm auditioning for Mad, right? And so at the end, the final audition for the test, it was between me and Taryn Killam. And I'm st sitting, and, they, I, and all, everyone's telling me, you're not going to get it. Taryn's getting it. Mm. Right, because they want a white guy and they only have one spot, but they're you're just the option, mm -hmm. right? <sighs> so I'm sitting there like I don't think I'm gonna get it, oh. and I walk into the room, and as I walk into the room, because Taryn had just left, I see the sea of executives. Because at that time, when you tested, you had to test in front of live. It's a fucking worst. You have to audition for the executives and the president, and, and they're just day. sitting in a room and they're staring just staring at. And you. they, I already know I'm not gonna get it, so they're just like. <laughs> right but as I walk in that lady walks in with me the fox lady the lady that I helped in the parking lot mm -hmm. and then they go some of the executives go hey what are you doing here she's not even supposed to be there she goes oh I'm here to see his audition <gasps> wow and they go oh and as soon as I left the room I got a call I got it wow you can't say her name mm-mm but how wild. Yeah. Powerful. Do you still keep in touch with her? Don't, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Lesson. I don't know what, I think she got out of the business or whatever, but my point is, is that. She's at home right now watching this being like, I'm still in the business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, but I just remember that. That's powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be nice. You guys got any cool uh, biz stories? No. <laughs> <laughs> no biz stories? No. Are you not, not no biz stories? 
No. Rudy, because of the success of you on the show, have you ever gotten offered anything on the online? Like, has anybody said they want you for something? No, nothing. I'm shocked. I'm shocked too. I would assume somebody would reach out and be like, hey, I want you to be a part of this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Well, listen here, uh, directors, writers, and producers, we'd love you to cast Rudy in something. But or Issa, or even Issa now. Issa. Well, Issa's, Issa's going to be fine. Oh, yeah. We're worried about this one. <laughs> also, if Issa, you come back and you live here, maybe you could be a part of the family. She is a part of the family. I, I mean, know. but do this, you know what I mean? Regularly? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, maybe not, maybe not. No, yes, of course. Yeah, 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 of yeah. course, maybe of not. course. I want to talk about Joe Coy. Okay. <laughs> I do. But can I put on some chapstick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you do um, sexy music while I do this? Okay. Go ahead. I love Joe Coy. What the fuck? I said... <laughs> <laughs> Put on some, do some sexy music while I do this. Go oh, you, oh, you want me to acapella? Yeah, because he's gonna zoom in on my face right now doing it. Go ahead. All right, Joe Coy. All right, Joe Coy. I'm not done. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, All right. So, what do you want to say about Joe Coy? What I want to say is, is that. Um, I thought he did a good job at the Golden Globes. Joseph. I'll tell you why. Joseph. 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 He had you guys know Joe Coy, don't you? He did, had 10 days to do this thing, mm -hmm. right? It was a risk. He did the best he could. I thought that um, they didn't do any him any favors in editing. Live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is editing, like cutting into the audience and seeing some reactions that... Where that's did what you... I meant. Oh, right, right, right. I understand. That's what I meant. Okay. All right. They didn't do any favors for him, and it's cut, like cutting to the person he's mentioning. Go ahead, finish. With no, I, I don't. I don't want to go. No, finish your. No, I, I, I don't want to continue. <laughs> Please, I want to hear you finish. You're really, you're really on my last nerve. <laughs> um, and I want. No, I honestly want to believe. I, what I'm saying is, is that. <laughs> Dude, you're so fucking rude. So rude. You're so, so fucking rude, rude and so funny. So funny. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. I, what I want to say is, is that, you know, I, um, cause I've known Joe since the, may I? I didn't say, what the fuck? I didn't say anything. I think you made a noise. I took a breath. Don't. I hear you breathing into the mic all the time. Uh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> Go ahead. No, no. You've known Joe for a long time. <laughs> yeah. And what I'm saying is, is that he's a hard worker. He's an extraordinary performer. And it was like a difficult circumstance he was in 10 days to take this gig on mm -hmm. what i'm saying is is that you know i love him he's such a talented guy he's a, but here's the thing that people don't get he's a super kind guy too mm -hmm. and so i just thought you know by i rewatched it and i was just like you know what dude he i think he did a great job you watched it again i did <laughs> did barbie win this time <laughs> <laughs> anyway Oppenheimer didn't win. My, my, um, he got a lot of flack on. My heart goes out to him. I love him so much. And he will be, he'll be back and he's never going to go away and he's going to kill it. And well, nothing changed for him. He's a stand up. Yeah, 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 that's true. Anyway, uh, this, you want a game? Yeah. Okay. We'll do Rudy News. Yeah, we want to see how, how good you would be in the business if you, uh, if you were in the business. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so the rhythm would be nah, 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 nah. Ba na 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 right? So try it. Hi, I'm Rudy Jules, and welcome to Rudy News. Perfect. Very good. Magandang araw, kababayan. First tonight, a Manila man named Hernando Guanlao turns his house into a library, and local patrons are forever grateful. Public libraries are rare in my country. For students Claire, Micah Ogoy, and Jane Rainfinida, Mang Nani's library is a significant aid in their studies. Mas naka mas nakakaaliw po kasi ito kaysa sa social media and sa cellphone po. Said Ogoy. Thank you, Hernando. That's it with Rudy News. Again, 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 again. That's it with Rudy News. I'm Rudy Jules. Good night. Craig. It's not you. You did great. You did great. Who did the writing? It's just not funny. Was it supposed to be funny? Well, it's, realness. it's a new, the real news story. Yeah, but I thought at one point it was going to get crazy in it. Yeah, and funny. And funny. Yeah, we need a writer. Yeah. But you it's are, he news. is a comedy writer. Yeah, it's just the news. I know, but I, I know. I, I what understand. we assumed you were going to do was take the news and interject insanely wild shit. Well, I thought it was already funny the way it was. Well, you're wrong. Just the regular news? You no, Don't take your headphones off. Yeah, yeah. What Where was are you going? That? What's that move? 
of me mad at Bobby. Are you gonna make him use? You're gonna make him fucking use. Be nice. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, sober, dude. No, I, I'm, dude, I'm so happy for your sobriety. Thank you, bro. And I, I know you did your best. But as a comedy writer. Yeah, yeah. I just, I was we waiting for more like it could, to get so crazy that we would all be like laughing. You copy and pasted the news. Well, just the quotes because I can't write that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You copy and pasted though. Not completely. I was reading it and then writing it out myself too. <laughs> it wasn't plagiarized. Or like I thought so, you know, it was going to go shamalama ding dong. You know what I mean? And just do crazier words. You know what I mean? Show Bob that video then. Show the video that you that I sent you. Paul having me and I'm very excited to pitch a degree fair. That one's tough. That's a tough I'm one. Looking forward to go back to that real fast. It, that know, one's the toughest that's part. That's a tough one. Were you excited to pitch at? Paul having me and I'm very excited to pitch a degree fair. God okay, damn. stop, stop, push, 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 push. Since he woke up that morning, he was repeating wiggly field, wiggly field, wiggly field, wiggly field, wiggly field. 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 And the driver is like wiggly field, and he's like wiggly field, wiggly <laughs> peels. That's yeah. mean. Yes. Okay, keep going. They don't make us do that when we go over there. What do you mean? You know when like basketball players go play overseas, they don't have to fucking like learn the language to do a press conference. That's so hard. But is to there do. a word in Japanese that I I Americans can't say? That's all of them. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> oh, you think we so? can't speak Japanese? Well, like, give me like a little Japanese monologue. I can think I can Isa, do it. Isa. Yeah, Isa could do it. You can speak Japanese. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. You were learning it last time. Yeah, yeah. What? Give me. Here, speak some Japanese. Say, hey, I'm so excited to be here in Los Angeles. <laughs> America, daisuki. That's it. They really can. They really do everything really more efficient than yeah, us, yeah, don't yeah. they? You can say that. Los to be here in Los Angeles. That's I'm excited to be here in Los Angeles. But saying <laughs> "totemo is like I'm so like very overly no, like excited in a way that it's like sexual. Oh. Really? Really? Go, 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 say, <laughs> say, say it again. I want to do that. I want to try to repeat that. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Can you do it? Absolutely not. Okay, do it again. Try it again. I'm so excited. That's good. Just to say, I'm so excited. To be here. Just say to be here. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Nope, I have cocoa. I have cocoa. That's it. I have cocoa. That's it. That's it. Coca-Cola. Once more time. One more time. Coca-Cola. 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 coca <laughs> so hard. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I don't understand how that's so hard to it's do. Crazy. As as a fifteen year old young person, as you're starting to come into looking forward into like you're not a little kid, you're not a grown grown up. Do you start to see the world in a way where you're thinking about what you might want to do in the world, what your contribute <laughs> what do you think you want to do in the world? I don't know. But do you, but does anything interest you like that? Are you like, you know what I would do for a job would be fun? I should be a scam artist. Yeah, that's yeah. true. We did say that on this mm -hmm. show. Yeah, I think that was bad to influence her to do that. But, but yeah, but Izzy, what do you want to do? What would be fun to be as your life? I should be a realtor. Okay. Okay. What? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, she could sell a house. Yeah. Sell us a house. This is my wife. This is my wife, Babina. Okay. Hi. 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 I'm Babina. Um, what a beautiful house. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. This was picked especially for you. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? We, we just the, we just we literally just came here. It's an open house. <laughs> no, you're supposed to you're supposed to tell me what you want and then oh. I send no, you. No, well it says house. open house. It says we're open walking house in, and we're walking, and we're walking I high. Know that. I'm Babina. This is my Felipe. I'm Felipe, that's Babina, my oh, wife. Okay. Yeah, so just so, so you instinctually know that this is our house. Wow. Yeah, I can feel it from your bones. What you can feel bone bone energy? <laughs> What are you, Army Hammer? What's wrong with yeah. our bones? Leave our bones out of this. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, Miss, what's your name? Oh, um, Bibina. What, you're... Th you're th <laughs> wait, you wait, have the you're same the name same as name my as wife? Yeah. That's fucking that's, crazy. No, that's how I knew that you wanted this house. Can I see your ID real quick? Um, oh, my God, sweetie, ID. look. It is Bibina. Look, wow. it is Bibina. Wow. Wow. Okay, Miss, well, how many bedrooms and how many bathrooms are this? Oh, this, this has six bedrooms. Wow, that's wow. a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot. How many bathrooms? How many bathrooms? Four bathrooms. Six four. and four. That's not bad. That, that's how not many, bad. How many square feet? Um. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. must know the property. You've yeah, been yeah, here yeah, all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many square feet? Around 
as as much as you would want it to be. What would that be? What honey? would that be? The specific number? Because how many do you think? Because we do have we, we do, have we, uh, we have certain certain um, furniture and yeah. yeah. How That's about right. let's ask um my partner? No 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 no. <laughs> you <laughs> Pina. Wait, wait. You have a, another partner named Popina? <laughs> no, her name's Poopina. Oh, Popina. Popina. Oh, Popina. Popina. Hi, Popina. Hi, she... Popina. Oh, she's deaf. Oh, she's oh, she's a mute. A mute. I mean, she's mute. <laughs> All right, so Popina, how many square feet do you think it is? Mm, Just guess, because it maybe around. <laughs> <laughs> Just many... throw out a number. Throw, throw out a number. number. Uh, there's... Okay, ten. Ten it's square ten. feet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So six. Wait, wait. <laughs> Wait, excuse me for a second. Like, can I ask something? <laughs> Guys, six bedrooms, four bathrooms in 10 square feet. This is insane. This is how they do it oh, wow, in the it. Philippines. In the Philippines. <laughs> wow. These rooms are so small. This is unbelievable. <laughs> well, how big yeah, is the, yeah. the lot around it? How many square feet is the lot yeah. that we're on? 20. So 20, 20 square feet. So square just feet. double. Double okay. the 10. Yeah, so. Wow. Wow. How much is it? How much is the how much is this house? Well, do you want it in around do you want around pesos or Well dollars would be preferred yeah, we're here we're in the United American. States. Yeah, and we're but yeah. Honest, around thirty mil? Thirty, 30 mil million per dollars. 10 square feet of land. <laughs> oh, my. oh my god. <laughs> Six bedroom, four bed in ten f wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. wow. Thirty million. Thirty million. We gotta kind of call our accountant. I don't know if we can afford it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, can, can you can you explain to me the school system? Because we have six kids. Yeah. Oh. What, yeah. What kind of schools are in the area? Well, the one near us actually had a shooting, so I wouldn't <laughs> recommend. Uh, oh, that just one. a shooting. Maybe the the other closest one would be around two hours away. Two hours, two hours away. away. Well, wow. We I are. I think you're selling us. Yeah. I think you're selling we it. We do. <laughs> We do want to be away from everything. Yeah, how about crime? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's the crime rate out here? A lot. A lot. It's well, like, high. Uh, tell me, uh, tell us how much. Thirty million dollar house <laughs> in a high crime area. Yeah, ten square feet, <laughs> high crime, no school, six by <laughs> six bed, four bath, six bed, four bath. Wow, there, wow. There are actually a lot of people that would try to carry your house, so you might be, you might want to be careful of that. Carry it. Car mm -hmm. oh, oh, so it's portable. Portable. So this is on wheels. It's a portable house. We are buying a portable thirty million dollar house. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. In a bad neighborhood. That they can carry. Huh. Like, huh. What's, is there HOA fees? Is there any, what does that cost? Yeah. You know what the HOAs are over here? No. Yeah, what yeah. do you think? <laughs> oh, there isn't any or there are some? Because it says there's HOA right on the flyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah How what much would that be? A what month. is that? A month. A month. A month? Yeah. Maybe half 30 mil. So, oh, so 15, 15 million. million a month. 15 mil. So 15 million. Well, let me get this straight. <laughs> we pay HOA fees. 15, 15 million, million a month. A month wow, people. what a deal. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Does that provide security of some kind? Yeah, yeah. Of course. There's actually there's actually Poopina outside. Oh, so, oh so, so she comes with the She comes with the house. She comes with the she house. Comes with the house. Wow. And and but she can't talk, so she if something bad can't happens. She talk and fight. So she would try to sign the the robber. She would sign oh, the yeah, robber. Yeah, yeah. Go away. Beware. Okay. Dog. <laughs> okay, I see. All right, so are there any other offers on this house? Because we might be interested. Yeah, yeah. Are there competitors out there? Are people trying to buy this house? There's a lot of people who- A lot of competition for this house. You might wow. want to buy it now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, so okay. people want to buy it right now. Mm -hmm. I see. What percentage down payment do you require to buy this? What percent? Yeah. Around 90? 90% 90 down payment. So we need to oh contract around God. 25 million dollars. <laughs> Do we have twenty five of liquid money? We do. We do. Yeah, I know. I just that's don't know if this is our. That's all we. That's our. That's all we have though. Twenty five million. Fifteen yeah, million a month. So that's fifteen gonna, million a month. That's a lot for HOA. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. I can I be honest with you? Yeah. I think you got a future in real estate. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. That's great. <laughs> uh, all right. So that's look, insane. we're happy you're back. We're sad you're leaving. We hope when you come back, you come see us. Yeah. You know, you know how we end the the we log off the show. So you want to say it? Thank you for being a bad friend. Perfect. Amazing. <laughs>